I'm fairly certain I've had dreams like this. <clears throat> Hello. Didn't. <clears throat> Is it wise to uh, jump upon someone who uh, received quite a serious injury? Well, crushing me a little bit. Oh. <sighs> well. Oh. I must say, if getting stabbed is what it takes to have you jump into my arms and lap, well, I might have to do it more often. Sorry, it was that upsetting. Have you been crying? I... Well, I... You thought I wasn't going to make it. I had every faith in you. Though... <laughs> Didn't expect this. Well, I had thought if you got me out of there, I'd be alright. You're stronger than you realise. I just wasn't sure if you would have gotten me out of there. Even after everything, yes. Well, you've been quite... Resistant. And as fun as our little cat and mouse game has been, I do understand that. They were all you knew. You. <laughs> they were a, a messed up family of a sort. It's scary to leave something that you've been taught is right and, well, you know, I, I shouldn't have brought them up, should I? May I presume that Given that we're both here, uh, that you are. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> mm. I think water would be quite good. How long have I been out for? Oh, God. <laughs> I... <clears throat> oh, that's better, isn't it? <sighs> well, I'm glad to have made a full recovery. I have, right. You didn't have to remove anything or 
Well then, what are you looking so worried for? Uh. I suppose I'm not used to people caring about me this much. If that's what this is, don't want to presume after, you know, everything. Well, I, I would hope that after dragging me all the way here that you would care. Perhaps I wanted to hear you say it. I notice, well, I can recognise my own bedroom. Did you carry me all the way here? And what about the rest of the soldiers? You... Something snapped, didn't you? Is that right? Let me guess. You unleashed some sort of power that you didn't even know you had. Or you didn't realise it was so... Powerful. My clothes. Hmm. Well, I told you you had more potential than they were telling you. They were squandering you. So, I got stabbed, saving you. Does that make me a hero of sorts? Hmm. Well, anyway. That happened. You took out the rest of the gods. Very impressive. And then you dragged my unconscious bleeding body all the way back here. You had a little help. Ah. Well. It's a little surprising. I... So you did take them all out on your own, but you had a little help getting my body back. Some of my lot showed up after all. No, I... <laughs> you think they care about me more than I realise. Hmm. Perhaps. I... <laughs> well, that's something I'm not emotionally ready to deal with right now. <laughs> I'm... Fairly tired, and you're in my bed. No, no, you don't have to get up. Please stay. Which actually leads me to what I was going to ask earlier. Are you... Well, you brought me all the way back here. 
which I suppose I should stop teasing you for a second and be serious and say thank you you could have left me there well if you think you owed me one for me rescuing you that's Fine. Quid pro quo and all. Is that? The only reason that you saved me. Yes, I'm going to put you on the spot. I'm not trying to be cruel, I just... I think I have a right to ask. <sighs> well, that's a relief. You didn't want me to die. Why? I'm not... I'm not doing this to try and tease you like usual. I... I would like to know. I... risked a lot. I've almost died trying to save you. Do you think I'd do that if all I was wanting here was a little bit of fun? I... At first, yes, it was fun. It was fun, wasn't it? Sorry, by force of habit, I... Genuinely saw potential in you, and genuinely was drawn to you. You seemed kinder than the rest of your team, not purposely going out of your way to hurt any of my lot more than you needed to for self-defense. Too much of your lot are very into not caring if they harm bystanders, civilians, and interrogations that go too far into t Oh. Sorry. Well, you'd know about that, wouldn't you? You seemed different. A little better than them. You didn't look or sound like them, no offence. I'm sure you wanted to fit in, but... So I was intrigued. So yes, I tried to seduce you. I genuinely would have taken you to my bed that night if you'd wanted to. Only with consent, of course, but no, I was willing to go all the way. Not just to get one over on them and steal one of their employees. I don't know. I would have hoped that we'd become closer, not necessarily as close as I want you now, but... Right, the idea of seducing someone to the dark side was quite fun. Still is. Well, I mean... No. <laughs> I don't mean I'm going after anyone else. I, I meant 
I was trying to imply that if you ever wanted to recreate the moment. Right, anyway, we said I was being serious. I'll let you ponder on that. Tuck that away in the back of your mind for later. I... I'm not good at being serious. <sighs> right. I got to spend more time with you. Bumping into you. And... I was right. You were better than all of them. Genuinely kind. Not just an act or... <laughs> because you were hoping to get something out of it. And I suppose I saw some of myself in you. Not with us being from the same place and all. I know what it's like to grow up. <laughs> with them towering over you. And then by the time you got captured, not well, they brought you home. <laughs> I... I risked everything. Oh, well, I wasn't going to risk all of my people here, but I risked myself. I knew there was a chance of me dying coming to get you. Yes, I lied <laughs> about how confident I was about getting you out of there in one piece. There's only one of me, <laughs> many of them. I couldn't let them hurt you. And I meant it, if, if you... Regardless of my... Feelings... Which have gone beyond wanting a bit of fun. That have gone beyond being entirely selfish, unlike me, and. knowing that you need to choose. You don't have to stay. You don't owe it to me. I meant what I said. You can go. Thank you for rescuing me. But you deserve the chance to go out and live your own life. Explore. Or you can stay with me. I would hope that you pick one of those options, because going back to them really isn't on the table now that you've well, killed a great number of them. And what are my feelings now? Well, I asked you first. Well, in a roundabout way, I... I'm not the only one avoiding the question. Ah, uh, your answer will depend on my answer. Alright, I suppose if I'm offering you to stay with me, I have to let you know what you're getting yourself into. Well, I meant what I said before. You can choose what work you want to do. I'm not going to force you to go out and fight anymore. Regardless of knowing that you'd be a great asset. Because that's not why I want you here. Really. 
if you choose to stay and don't want the second part of my offer, I admit I will struggle to be around you every day and not get to have you since the second part of my offer for staying here would be <laughs> to stay with me I mean, not <laughs> you'd get your own room I, I mean I Not sure I've ever... No, I no, I haven't ever said these words to a single other person in my life. It's hard to say them now. Makes it all more real. And then I have to fear being rejected and... And... What if I'm wrong? What if these feelings aren't what I think they are? I haven't experienced them before. I could be wrong. Do I truly have to say it out loud? Surely you can guess. If I want you to stay, I have to say them. Mm. Why? If I say them, are you going to stay? I think I've heard at least one answer. I've been doing an awful lot of talking. But if what I'm offering is a genuine, equal relationship, then yes. You would like that. You'd like to try. I say try because, well, I'm not sure either of us have ever experienced a good, close, healthy, equal relationship before. You because of them and me because of And what I've gone through, I tend to be quite closed. I don't like many people that close. Uh, and that's why I'm surprised some of the others came after me. I like to think I treat them right. I, I suppose I try not to get too attached. Our line of work. We know the risks. Any of us could die any time we go on a raid or... If I say it, you'll stay. All right then, little hero, let me sit up. No, if I'm doing it, I'm doing it properly. <laughs> well, come closer. Don't get shy now, I've kissed you before. Let me... Try and get myself back. Since... This is dependent on whether you stay or not. Better make it good. Take your face in my hands. My little hero. <laughs> Do you want to hear how you've melted my cold, dead heart? Hey. You hit me. What? Well, tapped me. <laughs> 
fine, all right, I'll get on with it. Impatient creature. If I were fit and able to, I wouldn't let you leave this bed again today. Because, hmm. can make you feel safe here. <laughs> if I say please, do you have to ruin the moment? You can't just say it back. I mean, not that, not that I'm presuming that you... I, I was hoping, since you want to stay, that perhaps you would at least feel or consider opening yourself up to feel mm. I'm not... <laughs> I'm not going to cry. I'm... just really sleepy still. Getting stabbed takes a lot out of one. Speaking of... Being out of it for that long makes one awfully hungry. And as much as I'd love to mean that in the fun way, I do mean it in the literal way. Well, as my newest addition to the team and my, what are we going to call ourselves? As my partner, going to take a while to get used to that, but all right. Or, as my new lover, would you join me for dinner in bed, because I don't think I'm going to be up for walking yet. Well, even on a day where I haven't been freshly stabbed in the stomach. Can't always be up for walking much. <laughs> but given this, no, I think perhaps you, as my new partner, could bring me some food. For yourself, as well. You could make a sort of... Picnic of it. I, well, I wasn't trying to be cute. I, when I'm... Up and about, I'll have a whole banquet thrown for you. How about that? Well, no. I wouldn't waste food like that. And, not that we have a lot of it. I... Still. I can pretend as though I have the resources to treat you like a royal would. 
andere. Nou. Hier. No, I suppose you did just get away from rich people like that. You... Like me as I am. You don't think I need to pretend to be anything else. <laughs> right. No, right. Well, then... Quaint picnic in bed it is. You seem rather excited. I didn't expect that. Cute is a good thing. Right. No, what... If... In the kitchen stuff know what I'd like to eat, you can just ask her. Alright, I'll... I'll wait here, I suppose. Since I can't move. Yes, see you in a moment. <sighs> it's not like me to not know what to say. Or for me to feel flushed. Maybe I'm just still ill from the wound. Yes. Mm. <sighs> Perhaps they really are going to open up my eyes. Nonsense. No one's ever said I love you to me before. I don't really know what comes next. And yet I find myself looking forward to finding out. Thank you all so much for watching, my lovelies. Reminder that I have a Patreon. If everyone who subscribed to me gave me just one pound a month, that would help me out a lot. Allow me to move out and keep making audios in a safe environment. Rewards of being a patron of mine include access to my Discord, ad free streaming and downloads of all my audios, and two exclusive spicy audios a month, with at least one per month pick me requests if you join the top pledge level tier and more. I also stream on Twitch most Mondays, Fridays, and Saturdays, and have an Etsy shop called Empty Masks where I sell fun art and original art. My Etsy also has stickers and other merch of my audio original characters under the Vampire Prince section of my shop. My art commissions are also currently open. Audio commissions are currently closed. I thank you to my patrons. My fledglings, Andy Christ, Isabel Three, Moon Shampoo, Sarah Moon, Lauren Lovick, Lucy Marquez, Ozuki, Sazi Yenke, Ebony Void, Fruit Island, Rain Cloud, CL, Nesquik, Fluffy Dino, Nerd Odor, Ollie Mac, Rice Puffs, Ruby Red Gem, Carry On, Livia Nasito, Illuminati, Astor Ash, Percy, Kuro, Hell, The Silver Sis, Tiffany Boy, Void, Zoe Mada, Aspirin, River Heights Puff, Arbitrary Descriptivism, Joanna Cole, Roses in Bloom, Era, Ray Carts, Emily, Sweet Jade, A, Tisness, Kit, Tommy Von Blum, Arcane, N, Nicole, MX Pink Suit 230, Tsugiyomi, Emery, Swan MB, 675309, Gotham Muppet, PG, Pumpkin Pie 23, Nicole Thompson, Daria, Valkyrie Ace, Despair, Earth and Travis, Dawn Robin, Persephone Black, Lady D, Books Love for Music, Love the XE, Beautiful Thorns, Cecilia, Delaney, Lily, Phil, Persephone Paris, Oracle of BS, Alexis, A Wall in Disguise, Sia, Doomfrog, Cubic Cats, Alpaca Avalanche, Philip Demeron, Steph, Aster ACI, Chris Vickman, Mark, Fran Lemieux, Demonics Anxiety, Diana, Jam, Ethereal Viking, Ribbons, Jazz, Lindsay, Emily, Vic, Alplacin, Iris Evan, Alyssa, Pluto, Kara A. Gross, The Sleeping Poet, Moss Plaster, Bill, Nix, Mamelon, Flitzklin, L, Goober, Bellwether, Aster Sarah, Lauren the Hunter, J, Strawberry 897, Real Pornoglyph, Shelves, True Starshine, Capo Clips, SH7, Ophelia, Peyton Gunn, Della, 
Incognita, Silk of Assaults, Irrelevant Listener, Freak of Nature, Stink Needle, Desi Fowler, Lewin, Tea Time, Ace of Hearts, Sister of War, Luna, Not Morphin, Gabrielle Simpkins, Charlie, Cecilia Dillery, Bookstore Cryptid, Dwell McRae, Wisteria Song, Max Little Spoons, J. Aries, Ace, Delirious, Raven G, Ellie B, Scarebound, Sunny, Dark and Luke, Jordan Ratliff, Julie Beardsley, Miles, David Moser, XOXO, Fanny, Chinua Chasai, 236, Verge, Willow Arlens, Insomnia, Trass, Gremlin, Lindsay Houston, Coffee Cat, Rack, Love La Hell, Ashkins, Cotton Kitten, 314, Alf, Toco Greg 3, Momo 99, Tired Soul, Mad Hatter, Grim Bean, May Pop, Collective Unit System, Piers, Alex P, Roy of Rhea, Mango, Lyra G, Marco 01, M, Warner Yako, Daryl, Planet NB, KT, Lady Dot, Maria Dennis, Jenera, Oh No It's Joe, Jordan, Owen Warnland, PT, Coda, Daniel Wolf, Peachy Sakura, Rendrigas, Crested Blossom, Elixir, X Profane X, Jane Mays, The Loth Woman, Abby Cat 16, Charlie Rose, Skylar Sheridan, I Am My Family's Loki, Olivia Osman, Ellie, Aveth, Iceberg, Avery, Artemis Amaritsu, Tulip Tulipson, Ember Rain, Fishy 7 8, Golden Neal, Plant Gatto, Frosh, Seven Moose Head Tavern, Tyler Singer, The Silent Star, L, Kyle, Undercover Clown, Denny, Chrissy, Jinxed Misery, Jansa Jumper, Wolf of the Book, Primrose Path, Ducky, Bob Zed, Bumble Baby, Agenda Techno, Silently Chaotic, Error, Des, X Hits, Cloud Strife, XX, Ica 111, Zoe Sultana, Ghostly Lurker, Masochist, L, Untrustworthy Narrator, Windstorm, Will, Lucian, Jungle Box, Seppi Day, Blue Flame, Bumpkin, Northern Isle, AMC 1720, Effie, McSmurder, Junkst, Lolly, Hero, Owlbear Obsessed, Camden, Quinn, SL, The Kraken, Hazelstone, Cat, The Master of Tea, Ren, Marina, Cat, Six Rabbits, Red Raccoon, Bexy, RMW, Red Velvet Rose, Own Torkel, Fantasy Princess, ASDF, Tiffany Sonotti, Beloved Bog Goblin, Ambrose, Midnight Whisper, Antichrist Socialite, Daniel T. Desjardins, Chaos Fox, Karen Panthera, Cinemos, Winter and Bone Zero, Ash, Samire, Fully Gina, Nash, Lysander, Ali Carter, Black Seraphim 7, Ozzy, Heaven, Skylar Ingram, Sequoia, Emily, Ash, Adventurous Winter, Kiara Embley, Felix, Screeching Trash Goblin, Sam, Actually Static, Chris 07, Little Adventurer, Lost in Space, Max, Alex, Lavender Lucius, Green Blue, Pip, Old Collection of Teeth, Teal Orange, Spiritua, Angelus, Sforzi, Moonchild, Rainbow Sky Bites, Rachney, Caspi is here, Alex Impey, Sakura the Neko, Ash Cook, Lou Boy, Misfit Crew, Mara Kurek, Luna Moth, Emily Ayo, Ren Lady V, Ellie C, Mike's It's Connor, Bram Shelley, Ash Sterling, Blood Wren, Grayson, Renny Person, Gabriel Sandberg, Little Bit, Rose Cat, Blue Cheese Cactus, Night Howler 1605, Mr. Plumpy, Lex Fraser, Harriet Toon, HM, Necromania, Virgin Cannibal, Irene, Nicole, Onyx Unknown, Sophia Squash, Vex and Hex, Nori, Mothman, Gremlin Duart, Cobalt, Caitlin Elizabeth, Re, and Channel Bennett. And a thank you to my familiars. Solidaria, Spatial Oddities, Jocelyn, I'm Just Toby, Jamie, Jessica Lee's Forthsyth, Healy Lawrence, Emerson, N.A., Rockin' Robin 93, Jackie L., A Flow Game Box, and DD123.